you are a detriment, you are harmful. And this is directly a subtweet about me, right? When she's saying that I am harmful and that I'm a detriment. I want to get mad for a second. I need to get mad for a second because it's important. So we all know who Bad Bunny is. Is there anyone here who doesn't know who Bad Bunny is? Bad Bunny, not the rapper, is a Twitch streamer. She's one of the first streamers that I befriended when I started streaming a couple years ago. Um, I knew that there was a lot of really bad shit about her, but I decided not to bring it up anyway because I didn't want to rock the boat. And she recently decided to come at me. And I, I don't think she's really in a position to. I want to go over this because the bridge is burnt. She tried to change her name from Bad Bunny to Kira Chats because she wanted to avoid the kind of shit that she's associated with. So I'll show you all exactly what I'm talking about from today. And I need you all to know, out of respect for a lot of the streamers that I know, there's some really fucking weird shit that's happened behind the scenes. Like a lot of streamers do not actually, you know, they never tell you the full story about what's happening. But there's some really fucking weird and gross shit that I've heard about. I, I don't think I, I'm in a position at this point in time to talk about, but I have sat on this kind of shit for a long time. And she decided just recently to come at me for like little to no reason, despite all of the shit that she's said and done. Some of the clips that I want to show you were so bad, they got banned from the streamable website and I had to find them in archives. So if you don't know, I'll show you how Bad Bunny got popularized in the first place, but this isn't really associated with that. Like she got known as the $5 girl because of the moist critical. I'll put it on while I'm gathering what I'm looking for. How that results in zero subs. There are regulars here, $5 a month. How are you have hours of time to watch me? and not five dollars i don't know what are you doing with your life where you have hours of time to watch twitch and not five dollars to provide for the content that you're watching because it's like people just really have no they really don't respect me as a content creator well this parasite's right about one thing nobody respects her as a content creator now i'm not going to mention this streamer by name because i'm pretty sure she loves negative publicity she does f shit all the time just to get her name out there this is how she became known However, the reality of the situation is a lot grosser. It wasn't that she was doing this uh, willy-nilly. It's that she's literally a Findom streamer. Like, she constantly berates her chat. Like, the sub goals are pay pigs. It's, it's kind of gross. It, it completely went over the head of everyone who was criticizing her for it. Don't kink shame. Look. I understand if you're doing Findom shit, but if you also say I am a leftist educator, it feels fucking weird because then it's like you can if you want to engage with her in politics, you are entering into like these non consent like these sexual spaces that you don't necessarily want to be a part of. And you might not, not even know what's going on, like in the case of Moist Critical here, completely went over his head. Negative public image literally fucking ruins you. And this one is definitely bigger than she anticipated because no one likes someone this shamelessly greedy. She is a streamer who runs political talk shows, but the majority of the stream is spent begging and shaming people into giving her money. And it's some of the most pathetic shit I've seen on Twitch. This is drama from a long time ago, but I thought it was necessary to just show you like, this is how, she, this is what she was known for. And over the years, it's been an entire clusterfuck. But I know that I'm not here today to like go over, here is every fucking weird thing about this person. Here is her entire history. I'm not that kind of content creator. I'm here to talk about the fight that she had with me. She decided to come at me on Twitter. She subtweeted me and then she blocked me on Twitter so I couldn't even respond. Here's what she was going on about. Keemstar has directly harassed me and countless other marginalized people, routinely fucks teenagers and has literally gotten people killed. 
but it's super cool that so many of you think he's epic and based now because he said trans people exist. Y'all would befriend Kyle Rottenhouse if he said be gay do crime. I need you to know that you are a pawn for capitalist recuperation. You are a detriment, you are harmful. And this is directly a subtweet about me, right? When she's saying that I am harmful and that I'm a detriment. Because later on, she responds directly to someone saying, it's a shame that a popular trans activist is promoting him right now, despite all the harm he's caused. And she responds by saying that I'm sanitizing his reputation which I'm not. And anyone who actually engaged with the debate, who watched it, knew. I pushed back, like very few people have pushed back. Like I know people who've been following Keemstar for years and they told me they do not know other people who have pushed him that hard in a conversation about things like Etika or tried to make him own up to like any of the racist or anti-Semitic or homophobic shit that he's done over the years. But this kind of stuff doesn't matter. The thing that's really funny to me about this situation, I, I, have, a, I, I have some conviction and I will die on the hill that I believe that people should be forgiven if you want to forgive them, if they truly want to change and be better people. That's something I've always believed in. That's why I said like, if people left Kiwi Farms and they truly regretted the kind of shit that they were doing, they'd be welcome in my community. That's why I even gave Keemstar a chance in the first place, because I wanted to see if he wasn't trolling. And the only reason I was friendly with Nicole in the first place is because I believe the same thing, because the kinds of shit I'm about to show you that she's gotten into over the years is fucking insane. Oh. So like, here's a clip. And you tell me how this is defensible. I, for one, would never, I wouldn't have, I would never be involved with a guy who's bisexual. I couldn't do it. Just, there might be exceptions, obviously. When I say I couldn't, I, I wouldn't be attracted or I'm not attracted, uh, obviously, if it's like, obviously, there could be exceptions, all you super literal nerds out there. But, like, I don't, I don't, like... If a guy's like having sex with other guys and then he's like, oh, maybe I'll try having sex with you. I'm like, uh, racist and sexist. Please don't say that. Even black people. If you found me a black bisexual man, I might throw up in my mouth at the thought of, of sexual um, contact with him. If you find me a black bisexual man, I might throw up in my mouth it is an actual thing that she said 100% in earnest. And she's going off on me, cutting ties and saying that I am, I am harmful and that absolutely fucking insane. Just like fucking completely insane that she feels like she has any sort of moral high ground to stand on. And it gets worse from here too. Not every black bisexual I throw up in my mouth at the sight of, just like, you know, we're talking sexually. You can't hate gay people anymore. Why not? I want to hate whoever the fuck I want to hate. I want to hate a person because they're wearing Crocs. Why can't I hate a person because they, because they, because of whatever else trivial? Re if that reason is trivial, tr allowed, I, if I can hate a person for wearing Crocs, that's an incredibly trivial reason. And then people can harp on me about how stupid it is for me to hate an entire person because of the Crocs they wear. But you wow. see me fuck. I will hate you the said. fuck out of that Croc wearing freak and I have no qualms about it. So if I can hate a person for wearing Crocs and no one's gonna make a peep about it, then me saying I don't, I don't, I don't get actually, my vagina doesn't lubricate at the thought of a bisexual man. Holy shit. And then people are, oh, whatever, well, you can hate everything about the Croc wearing guy, but uh, if your vagina doesn't, doesn't lubricate right the fuck now, we're gonna have some problems and I'm gonna have to tell uh, I have to tell on you to the internet land. You get what I'm saying. You get what I'm saying, right? I think she's harmful. I think she's a grifter. I think that she still most likely believes all of the things that she said in those old clips, but she realizes that the only way that she can make a living still is to present herself as a progressive. I think it's pretty obvious. She surrounds herself with progressives. There is a grifter clip. That's not one I found. That's a huge section. Of but this one, this one was really fucking bad. So in this clip, Nicole makes an argument that 
white people are only attracted to other white people because of evolution and that's why she doesn't want to date black people i'm like that that's her argument it's fucking insane she literally transitioned into adolf hitler that's a huge section of people to just completely write off as unattractive and it just seems like kind of strange like is it literally like just the skin color is like unattractive to you like do you, i don't know it just seems it's like a weird it's as simple as evolutionarily we want to fucking propagate our fucking like shit and so propagating our own fucking shit involves finding people that are similar to our own shit well i mean that's not true by definition though that's a huge section of people. Yeah, no. Yeah, she's literally making arguments against race mixing. And this was only a couple years ago. This isn't ancient news. I went into her chat today and I asked her if she'd be willing to have a conversation with me. And her response was, um, her mods timed me out for an hour and then she looked upset for like 30 minutes before she raided out and then she, she locked her Twitter account. Yeah, she deleted her VOD from today, too. Oh, yeah, no, she unmodded me. I used to be a mod uh, from her chat. She was one of the first streamers that supported me. I've been on her stream before. She's been on my stream multiple times. And then when the Keemstar stuff came up, she threw me under the fucking bus. That's why I think she's manipulative. That's why I think that she's a grifter. Because she only cares... It seems like she only um, cared as much as she did about trans people and other minority groups because it would make her look progressive. Yeah, did I know about this stuff um, before the Keemstar bit? I always knew about this stuff, but I was afraid to call it out. But this year is different. In the year of our Lord 2023, if someone is a piece of shit, I'm going to say they're a piece of shit. I don't care if it means that I have to burn bridges. I want to say the truth, no matter how inconvenient it is no matter how rocky it makes things so okay here's um here's some good stuff from back in the day in 27 in 2017 here's our old discord logs for the word tranny so as long as i don't call transgender people traps and yell die tranny faggot i'm not transphobic shut up faggot jew tranny boy what kind of tranny? Maybe faggot isn't being used as a slur against homosexuals. It's insane. Like, she just, like, keeps going off on this shit. Oh, yeah, no, and this isn't even all of it. It gets so much... Th like, this is just, like, the transphobic and homophobic bits. Hold on. I have the other stuff. Just a second. I'm not even going to, like, repeat the shit here. Okay, we already saw the faggot stuff. You can just take a look. There are pages of her just saying the N-word. Just, it's fucking disgusting. Absolutely, it's just so fucking gross. Yeah, what was this? 21 results for the N-word? So it's like, Nicole has, because of all this stuff, she nuked her Discord. You can't find any of these logs. All of these logs are now just in screenshots because of the Discord nuke. Okay, wait, someone just said, okay, now Keffels decides she's offended when she gets mad at a person. No, that's not the situation. The situation is that I was a small streamer and I did not want to call someone out who could fucking ruin me. That was the situation. Like, I was scared to actually even talk about that. And now we're in a different situation. I can talk about this now and I'm glad. I'm glad that I can because it fucking sucks. It's wrong. Bad Bunny is making sure to use it all. Oh yeah, no, the DJ Mule stuff is fucked too. So Bad Bunny runs in a crowd of people. I've seen this pattern before. She feels deeply ashamed of her old behavior, but rather than make amends for her own behavior, she disavows other people for stuff she only learned not to do 10 minutes ago. She denies others the grace she depends on. Because that's the thing. She went from right wing to left because leftists, at least actual leftists, believe in rehabilitation. If you want to see the world that you want to build, you need to be willing to forgive people even if they do not deserve to be forgiven. I'm sorry, that's the truth. That's the only way that you can make the world a better place. And she relies on that grace, but then she goes into it with this incredibly punitive attitude. She doesn't believe in that. She believes in punishing people. But if you punish everyone, they're never going to change. You, you call yourself a leftist and you want to perpetuate the same fucking systems. Why is it that when I decide to finally, like, do... When I decide to do the right thing, when I decide to go forward and be like, here are all the fucked up things that are happening, people are like oh 
well, why didn't you do this earlier? It's like, let people make the right decisions. Just shut the fuck up. The thing with Kira is that she runs in a circle called the Red Planet podcast or whatever the fuck it is. And earlier, I guess like um, in mid-2022, one of the co-hosts decided to completely turn on me. And that was DJ Mule. So I'm just gonna leak DMs real quick. I've done this before, but I wanna show you how fucking snaky these people are. So here are my DMs with uh, with DJ Mule. In early 2022, I called Chud Logic a pedophile, and I got relentlessly fucking dragged for doing it. The reason I did was because of information that came from DJ Mule. So he said, Hey, Keffels, hope you're good, love. Just wondering how much you know about No Comment Chick, the woman you hosted earlier today. What about her? She hate raids me, Sophie from Mars, and a bunch of our friends regularly. I said I didn't believe that. I do believe that now, but at the time I didn't. And I asked him, like, how are you sure? You got me in shit before. You didn't have evidence that Chud Logic is a pedophile. And I got fucking dragged for saying that. I said to him, I used his thread as proof Chud Logic was a pedophile, which resulted in like two weeks of drama and multiple call out videos. Here's his response. I was busy at the time and he fucking essay posted at me before blocking me. I mean, I'm sorry that happened, but I would never have asked you to do that. So it's like, okay, you know, call people out for being child sexual predators, but don't, don't act on that information. You know, I just want the clout from the Twitter thread. Never actually try to keep your community safe. It's so fucking performative. I hate all of these people. Like, I appreciate what you did a lot and you defo put yourself in the crosshairs with that. But like, yeah, it's a super fucked up situation and he is a groomer. Obviously, a lot of people disagree with the word pedophile regarding him and that's up to them. But I believe that girl 1000% and he did try to groom her. But I guess if you don't trust me now, I can't really do anything about that. I would ask you to trust her ex mods though. And then like before I've even responded, before I even fucking respond, I get the fucking essay post. The more I think about what you said, the more pissed the more I'm pissed about it. You decide to publicly speak out about someone grooming, and that's a brave and great thing to do, but you don't get to say I was responsible for getting you dragged. The debate community standing up for each other because toxic masculinity trumps believing victims is what got you dragged, and I would have never recommended you start that shit because I knew that would happen. I'm coming to you with this info about Irene because she is someone deeply hurtful and is possibly a danger to people in your community. I don't want you to drama stream about it. I don't want you to tweet about it. I just wanted you to know. And while you're at it, stop making apologies for Vosh when he's a well-known piece of shit for multiple reasons and his followers took down a literal trans advocacy group because they disagreed with him. I don't know what you think you're going to gain by sticking up for a known racist, but okay. Th this guy literally has a podcast with the uh, I will never date a black bisexual lady. Like, where is this moral high ground coming from? Like, I don't understand how they fucking... They must have... I, I don't fucking know. It just... The fucking flexibility of this guy to suck his dick that hard. I don't want anything to do with you unless you sort your shit out. Disappointed and upset in so many ways about this shit. So like this is kind of like the condescension that I have to deal with from this crowd where they're constantly they're constantly defending someone who has said racial slurs and homophobic slurs and transphobic slurs and made eugenics arguments about why they don't want to date black people. Meanwhile, I th literally I'm being treated like a child and being told here's the bad guys, here's the good guys. Uh, by the way, don't talk about uh, the skeletons in our closet. It's just so fucking grifty. It's so performative and it's so manipulative. That whole crowd is toxic. But yeah, no, it's just, I wanted to talk about it because I'm just mad. I'm, I feel like I was manipulated and I was used. I was being used as a token tranny to rehab someone's image who is a really vile human being. And everyone on the leftist space of Twitch who knows who she is knows about this shit but no one says a fucking word about it. Like, it's just like this weird open secret. I'm getting so pissed off at the left online.
just because it's full of so many incredibly performative people who don't believe in rehabilitation, who want everyone to live in an echo chamber. It's like they have no actual fucking values. They treat it like it's a social club rather than a legitimate political movement. I can't fucking take it. I'm so fucking mad. Like I'm still always going to be a leftist, but when people are being fucking dumb, I will treat them like they're fucking dumb now. Hi, thank you so much for watching. If you want to participate in the chat and the videos while they're live, you can do so by making an account at keppels.gg. Also, my videos on this channel regularly get demonetized, so if you'd like to support the channel, you can do so at patreon.com keppels, and I appreciate all of your ongoing support. I'll see you on the next video.